Section 6F, Professional Military Education with 6.20, Education Opportunities. Educational opportunities exist throughout an airman's career which contribute to individual overall development. Professional military education, PME, enhances performance in each phase of professional development and builds upon the foundation of leadership abilities developed during the earlier stages of an individual's career. PME complements training, experience, and other educational programs to provide enlisted leaders a continuum of learning via progressive courses concentrated on developing leadership, airmanship, and military professionalism. PME courses provide professional education to enlisted airmen to ensure development of USAF institutional competencies and sub-competencies vital to the knowledge and skills required for critical thinking, sound decision-making, and a strategic mindset. For additional information about USAF PME programs and policies, refer to DAFI 36-2670. 6.21. Enlisted Professional Military Education in 1955, enlisted PME schools were established across the USAF to provide non-commissioned officers leadership and management training required to assume day-to-day -day mission execution responsibilities. The stand-up of these schools coincided with the release of the first official enlisted force structure which established the leadership roles and responsibilities of enlisted airmen at each grade. Operational control of stateside enlisted PME schools lies with Air Education and Training Command at the Thomas N. Barnes Center for Enlisted Education, located at Maxwell Air Force Base Gunter Annex, Alabama. The Barnes Center Academic Affairs is responsible for developing and providing enlisted PME program development, faculty development, and operational program management. Barnes Center programs consist of academic courses that use performance evaluations and objective examinations to determine how well students achieve instructional objectives. Courses are designed with principal instructional methods, experiential activities, problem-centered leadership laboratories, personal reflection, guided discussion, case study analysis, and writing assignments. Note. With the exception of the Chief Leadership course, airmen are awarded collegiate academic credit for completing enlisted PME courses through the Community College of the Air Force, which is accredited through Air University by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. Airman Leadership School Distance Learning The Airman Leadership School Distance Learning, ALSDL, course provides PME to prepare senior airmen to supervise and foster a commitment to the military profession. The ALSDL curriculum is designed to develop a mindset and associated skills with respect to four core attributes. 1. Professional airmen. 2. Expeditionary airmen. 3. Supervisor of airmen. And 4. Supervisory communicator. The ALSDL course is open to Air National Guard and USAF Reserve senior airmen and staff sergeants. The course is not available for Reg AF personnel. Students must pass two course exams by attaining the minimum passing score on each exam. Study Guide to SSGTAFH1 November 1, 2023 26 Airman Leadership School Blended Learning In October 2016, the Airman Leadership School launched a blended learning course, ALSBLC which combines distance learning principles with traditional classroom learning. ALSBLC is divided into two phases. Phase 1 is 8 weeks long and delivered by utilizing an online learning management system. Students complete core academic work in an asynchronous environment. Phase 2 is 2 weeks long and conducted at the Paul H. Langford PME Center located on McGee Tyson Air National Guard Base, Tennessee. The ALSBLC curriculum is designed to develop a mindset and associated skills with respect to four core attributes. 1. Professional Airman. 2. Expeditionary Airman. 3. Supervisor of Airman. And 4. Supervisory Communicator. Airman Leadership School. Airman Leadership School, ALS, is the first level of enlisted PME that airmen complete as they progress through their USAF careers. ALS is offered at almost every installation across the USAF and is designed to prepare senior airmen to be professional warfighting airmen, 
able to supervise and lead USAF teams to support the employment of air, space, and cyberspace power. The first level of ALS is the Distance Learning Course, ALSDL. ALSDL includes 1. Professional Airmen, 2. Expeditionary Airmen, 3. Supervisor of Airmen, and 4. Supervisory Communicator. The ALS curriculum includes 1. Mission, 2. Leadership, 3. Problem Solving, and 4. USAF Culture. Non-Commissioned Officer Distance Learning The Non-Commissioned Officer Distance Learning and CODL course provides PME for basic NCO institutional competency development required to prepare enlisted leaders to be professional, war-fighting airmen and guardians who can lead and manage USAF units in the employment of air and space power. The NCODL course consists of three course modules, 1. Course Foundation, 2. Leadership and Management, and 3. Operational Airmen. The NCODL course is open to Air Reserve Component Airmen. To successfully complete this course, students are required to pass three course exams, demonstrating curriculum mastery by attaining the minimum passing score on each exam. Furthermore, EPME Distance Learning Courses DLC, completion is no longer a prerequisite for resident attendance effective April 26, 2018. Additionally, Air University will no longer allow new enrollments for Active Duty Airmen Airmen may access EPME DLC for reference purposes only through the AIR. University Student Information System, OSIS. Non-Commissioned Officer Academy. The NCO Academy, NCOA, mission is to prepare enlisted leaders for current and future leadership and management opportunities to operate, think and act, critically in complex and ambiguous environments. The NCOA program encompasses the intermediate leadership experience, which includes guided discussions, experiential exercises, case study analysis, and immersive leadership development laboratories designed to improve an NCO's competence, confidence, and will to exercise assigned leadership responsibilities. Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Distance Learning The Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Distance Learning, SNCODL, course provides institutional competency development required to prepare SNCOs to lead the enlisted force at the tactical and operational levels. The curriculum's design heightens students' appreciation and understanding of three attributes. 1. Self-awareness. 2. Leadership and management. And 3. Joint Warfighter. This course is open to Air Reserve Component Airmen. To successfully complete the course, Students are required to demonstrate curriculum mastery by attaining the minimum passing score on each of three module exams. Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy The SNCO Academy, SNCOA, trains up to 2,250 USAF, Navy, Coast Guard, Marine, and International SNCOs annually. The SNCOA mission is to develop joint and coalition senior enlisted leaders to influence mission success in dynamic service environments. The SNCOA program encompasses the advanced leadership experience, representing comprehensive institutional competency development. The SNCOA is designed to sharpen senior enlisted leader skills with education that helps prepare them for continued and increased relevant responsibilities in joint, combined, interagency, and strategic environments. Chief Leadership Course The Chief Leadership Course, CLC, is the capstone and pinnacle level of enlisted PME. Currently, the CLC provides newly selected Chief Master Sergeants with foundational, strategic-level leadership competencies. The CLC conducts seven classes per year, educating 750 total force Chief Master Sergeants and Chief Master Sergeant Selects annually. The CLC mission is to provide chiefs the education to bridge operational to strategic perspectives of the Air Force. The CLC vision is to develop chiefs into strategic level leaders and to inspire them to effectively lead, manage, and mentor today's airmen. The CLC demands extensive self-study, critical creative thinking, communication, and interpersonal skills. 6.22 Senior Enlisted Joint Professional Military Education in addition to enlisted PME courses, 
The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Instruction, CJC Sai, 1805.01b, Enlisted Professional Military Education Policy, May 15, 2015, requires all enlisted personnel operating in joint, interagency, multinational, and coalition warfighting organizations to learn joint concepts. Senior Enlisted Joint Professional Military Education, SEJMI, provides SNCOs a comprehensive joint education to prepare them for assignments to joint billets at the Senior Enlisted Leader or Command Senior Enlisted Leader level. SEJMI is web-based and is designed to expose enlisted personnel to joint education, prepare them to succeed by improving their ability to operate effectively, and supervise multiple service members. SEJMI courses are offered online and are accessible from anywhere at any time. SEJMI consists of two courses of instruction referred to as SEJMI 1 and 2. SEJMI I emphasizes curriculum commensurate with E5-E7 joint assignment responsibilities. SEJMI 2 is focused on preparing E7-E9 enlisted members for their senior leadership roles and joint assignments. SEJMI 1 and 2 have learning areas and objectives in 1. National Strategic Overview 2. Joint Interagency, Intergovernmental, and Multinational Capabilities 3. Foundations of Joint Operations and 4. Joint Force Leadership For additional information on SEJMI 1 and 2 or to enroll, refer to https colon slash slash jkodirect.j10.mil slash atlas 2 slash faces slash page slash login slash login dot seem https colon slash slash jkodirect.j10.mil slash atlas 2 slash faces slash page slash login slash login dot seem note students must complete rank required service enlisted pme before enrolling in sejmi 6.23 International Professional Military Education Defense Security Cooperation Agency Security Cooperation under the Department of Defense Guidance leads national security objective efforts to train, educate, advise, and equip foreign partners. Department of Defense policy states that security cooperation, as an important tool of national security and foreign policy, shall be planned, programmed, budgeted, and executed with the same high degree of attention and efficiency as other integral Department of Defense activities. Inter-American Air Forces Academy In addition to enlisted and joint PME, Air Education and Training Command hosts the Inter-American Air Forces Academy, IFA, an organization designed to focus on education, training and security cooperation. IFA was initially established as a training program on March 15, 1943 at the request of Peru's Minister of Aeronautics, General Fernando Melgar. The Academy trained 11 Peruvian students in support of Allied unity in the Western Hemisphere at Albrook Air Force Station, Panama Canal Zone, marking the first United States aeronautics training in Latin America. Today, as an element of the U.S. Security Assistance Program, and more specifically the International Military Education and Training Program, IFA has provided significant contributions to promote regional stability, encourage the growth of democracy, prevent low-intensity conflicts, and counter foreign intervention in Central America. Since its inception, IFA has served as a military training center for Latin American Air Forces by training military forces, national police services, and civilian personnel from over 25 nations in areas ranging from PME for officers and enlisted personnel, security forces training, principles of logistics, aircraft maintenance, and pilot aviation training. IFA has served a variety of national interests in the Latin America region, ranging from support of United States allied efforts in World War II to counterinsurgency slash civic action actions during the Alliance for Progress era to current national and security policies in support of democracy, individual freedoms, and human rights. IFA's mission is to provide military education and training to military personnel of the Americas and other eligible partner nations and its vision is to strengthen partnerships that advance shared interests and enable partner nations to act in support of aligned strategic objectives. The Academy integrates USAF and guest instructors from different partner nations as critical enablers to provide the highest quality of in-residence training, 
mobile training and a virtual learning environment to support of our Latin American partners from Central, South America, and Caribbean nations. Currently located at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland, Texas, IFA graduates an average of 900 students annually. It has graduated over 35,000 students in its 75-year history and it allocates the only PME center in the USAF with the capability of offering the three enlisted tiers of professional military education, Airman Leadership School, non-commissioned officer academy and senior non-commissioned officer academy, inter-European Air Forces Academy. The inter-European Air Forces Academy, IEFA, was passed into U.S. law in the Public Law 106-291. Section 1268, Carl Levin and Howard P. Buck McKeon National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2015, December 19, 2014. In 2017 IFA was codified as a permanent authority to train and educate partner nations. The purpose of IFA is to provide military education and training to military personnel of countries that are members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO or signatories to the Partnership for Peace PFP, framework documents. IEFA's mission is to enable combined, joint air operations by strengthening NATO and PFP Air Force capabilities and interoperability through targeted military education and training. The Academy was officially activated on March 23, 2016 and is subordinate to Headquarters, United States Air Forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa. Yusuf of Africa, and the Warrior Preparation Center located at Einsiedlerhof Air Station, Germany. Since its establishment, IEFA has educated and trained more than 500 students from 32 countries. With PME as the Academy's primary focus, IEFA's unique approach develops officers and NCOs in a combined learning environment, integrating the learning experience between the ranks, thus showcasing the benefit of a professional working relationship and how it drives mission success. Additionally, IEFA is expanding its technical training course offerings to boost partnership capacity in the European theater for specific disciplines, which in turn strengthens NATO and enables successful combined air operations.